Okay guys, first off, thank you for subscribing to all my new subscribers. Great to have you on board. Uh, this video is part two of my Ocean Breeze Junior construction. This video should see the fuselage completed. Uh, and the next video after that is going to be the tail surfaces. They're both all flying. I've had to sort of make up some little mechanisms to accomplish the fact. So thanks for getting on board. If you're not a subscriber, hit that little subscribe button down below and leave a comment. Always pleased to hear what people got to say. Another little tip for you. Safety tip. Keep your fingers out of the steam. Okay, here we are. Works you in the right shape without having to do anything. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, right. Now, am I going to build it over the top of this or not? Make a decision cliff. Okay. That's the bottom longer on in. Okay, happy. So that's the two uh, longer ones in position. You know what's next, don't you? Just a case of cutting the quarter inch uprights. Just wanted to say um, gussets. That's these little triangular reinforcement blocks that we get uh, in various places. There you go. The grain has to go there's the cor the corners, they're 90 degrees. It has to go, there's your 90 degrees. And the grain has to go from side to side, not down one of the long sides, not down one of the 90 degrees. So I'm not explaining this very well, but otherwise it'll just split. So very important the grain runs that way on a gusset and not sort of that way or that way. It's got to run that down the longest side. So it it's it's opposing the corner okay just thought i'd point that out i've just pre-glued it as you're still there let's pop it in the this particular gusset is the one that holds the dowel that holds the wing bands on so no point in cheating on the glue or anything like that it's got to be a very good fit it's nice to see the glue squeeze out when you push it in Okay, so you rejoin me now. We've just uh, just finished this tail end, so I'm just popping in the very last piece at the front. We we'll let that set and come back to it later on this afternoon, probably. Right then, here we go. Lovely sound that is. Just checking the joints on the back side. That's fine. So we've got this is the port side. And this bit down here is the starboard side. These two bits hanging out at the back are surplus. Like that. And the same with the front ones. them a little sand got to join them on the flat I'll go and get my fuselage building jig for later so what I need to do is cut out some cross braces which are going to be in quarter square and the width is going to be pretty much this all the way down and that is actually not tell a lie that would be the one two three four five there we go that is the width of the fuselage What I'm going to do is to cut them all to this size, clump them all together and sand them all together. So let's cut some more of those. Just keep 
curious to see how they compare to these. Not really much in it. No, feel the same. I'll keep them in two groups anyway. Okay, so there we are. Hey guys, I'm in the conservatory and I've got the jig fixed up on the model. Now, I'm just wondering how I'm going to get my fingers down there to put these cross braces in. I think I'm going to have to do them just simply carefully. I think it's the way to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out a couple of them. I could do my tweezers actually, couldn't I? That one's all right. And for number two, what I'm doing is just putting a little bit of glue from the piece on the fitting before I turn it in. So as when I turn it in, I've got some glue where it needs to be. Got a piece of plastic down underneath, of course, to protect the building board. Okay, that's okay. Like that. Nice and flush to the bottom. There's another. Okay, now I'm checking everything is square down like that. There we are, let's give you another angle of that. That's looking pretty smart, I think. Uh, quite, quite happy with that. So we'll let that set off, and then I can start trying to bend the uh, front and back in a little bit, and then decide what form of sizes I'm going to cut because I'm making it up as I go along. Okay, so I've just boiled a kettle of water. This is all dry now, but to take the tension off of this a little bit, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint it with boiled water in an effort to try and help it to bend around without putting too much stress on the airframe. I'm age, you know, but it's just an idea, can't hurt, as I say. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I've done, in fact. I've brought the back end in together now. Uh, that looks pretty good, I think. I've not glued it, just brought it in now, just adjusted the clamps. So I'm going to glue the tail section together. But I'm just going to give it a slight sanding just to give me a little bit more surface area. Just run a little bit of aliphatic in there. Come on out. Like that. And bring it together over the centre line. Oh, it squeezes out. Like that. And tighten up the brackets. Just like that, the first one about there. Get the angle about there. I've used quarter inch cross members. It's very light, there's no weight to it. So uh, we'll let that set off. Now I'm gonna work on the front end. Pretty much, pretty much uh, stayed in the position actually, so I'm pleased with that. But I'm going to put the hard piece in there because it's going to... There we have it, I think. Mm. That will be that. So there it is in the clamps drying. Quite happy with that. Let that set off 
and we can get that fuselage out of the jig. Okay, I just thought I'd make up the nose blocks, um, guys. The most, the thickest bolster I've got is quarter inch. So this is my laminations for the nose block. Now, is a tip for you: make the center lamination and apply. That's the shape. Not only does it give me something to shape the initial block down to before I start bringing in the sides, but it also means when you finish, you've got a nice hard point uh, that isn't going to get dented so easily. So if you should hit a rock, it doesn't uh, completely crush the nose. It might only just take the bulk of it on the plywood. So, OK, here we are, guys. I've roughly shaped the nose. I've got a little upstand right at the top there. There, look. It's a bit blurred, but just so as I can put like a patch on the top and it'll blend in. But it's um, it's there, it's good enough, but it might require slightly more shaping. We'll have to see. For now, that'll do.